What's going on YouTube? It's your boy FBF Math. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Kind of want to give you guys some exciting news to start out this video. Um, I have a chance to pretty much qualify for the Sevens national team coming up. I just got this information earlier today and I'm a very excited to pretty much share this with you guys. Now, I know I have a long way to go for rugby. Um, being a, a player that really you know, can make his own name, excuse me, in the game. And um, just to let you guys know, you know, I'm really working hard on, you know, the positional things that I need. Uh, I've been moved from 12 to, I mean, from 14 to 13, and uh, now they got me playing 12. And then all of a sudden, um, I had this opportunity with sevens. Uh, one of the coaches for the UA team, your national teams, is um, the coach for this sevens team, and uh, he really wants to see what I can do and he he seems like he wants to help me develop my skills so I'm excited that I have this opportunity to be coached under him and the fact that he sees that you know with all my athleticism and strength I could possibly be something very helpful for the team for the international team to play for America um, so you just see me doing some drills right now I have a half rugby ball uh, that bounces back to me, of course. That's why I don't use a used ball when I'm by myself, a full ball by myself, because I can just throw this ball to the wall and, uh, you know, work on my passing. Uh, so I've just got a few drills that I've gotten from some rugby players from New Zealand that have taught me I can do on my own, and uh, they helped a lot. I feel a lot more fluid and comfortable in my passing. Um, I wish you guys could see the game that I had this weekend. I, I felt that was, that was the most comfortable I felt in a rugby game. I wasn't scared to get the ball in my hands and to pass it off. Um, got my try, you know, my first try, which was exciting. And um, damn, I just wish I had film on it. But again, you know, every day um, I'm working on my passing and um, I could work on my conditioning a lot more, but the coaches always say, you know, we'll take care of that. Uh, I feel like no matter what I do for conditioning, it just, it's, it still doesn't play out the same. You know what I'm saying? You can run, jog, do all that, but when it comes to game time, I feel like all that kind of goes out the window. So getting ready for rugby is, uh, is another ball game, but I'm super excited. Hope you guys are as well. Um, let's get to the rest of the video. Appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, uh, follow me on Instagram at FBAfterMath to keep up with what's going on. And uh, yo, hopefully next year, 2022, you know what I'm saying? You'll see me, you know, playing with some international players. Um, currently, once again, this is going to be a developmental uh, team for the internationals. And uh, dude, I'm just super excited for the opportunity. And I promise you guys, you know, I'm just going to work, you know, hard as I can, you know, tell myself if I'm doing enough. So thank you guys for the support. Let us get to the rest of the video. Let us get to the rest of the video. Peace out. What's good, YouTube? So today we have our frontal body day. So we'll have chest, uh, some front delts, abs, quads, and uh, that's pretty much it. We'll work on some uh, shin stuff, uh, knees over toes kind of stuff for the shins, for healthy knees and stuff. Um, oh, am I sitting on my phone? Yeah, I'm sitting on my phone. But starting out, I usually uh, just come through. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do play rugby. So uh, I just kind of get about 20 minutes of some throwing practice in with this half ball right here. I just kind of use it to uh, throw to myself, just different kind of drills that some uh, New Zealand pros have taught me. Um, I've had a few pros slide in my DMs to watch the video. So shout out to you guys. Um, and uh, thank you guys for helping me out and giving me tips and um, some um, routines that I can do for passing, to for better passing. And um, one thing that I've started to realize is that look, look before I throw. Um, I know a lot of people call it out, you know, as I throw that I'm like looking at the same time as I'm throwing when I should be turning my head 
and then going at, at a different rate. And that was my issue at first because it was a mental block because it's like, damn, if I turn my head too early before I throw, looking back, somebody gonna knock my ass out. So I just kind of got to get over that barrier. Maybe I probably need to get my ass knocked out so I can just get numb to it. And uh, yeah, but we'll go through today's routine at the gym right now, uh, starting out with, uh, we'll start from the lower body and work our way up. All right, so right now, got a med ball, simple weight, nothing heavy. But we're going a lunge under the leg 20 times, so 10 reps each leg. And then we're gonna go 10 reps with a goblet squat still holding the ball. Microphone blizzard. All right, so we got that done. Now we got 15 reps, three sets, 15 reps. We're gonna take that same ball and we're gonna do frog squats, frog squat jumps with um, about 10 to 15 reps each set for three sets. Three sets, once again, this is the beginning of the workout. We are getting warmed up, getting my knees lubricated and stuff. I, my dumb ass, picked up two different knee sleeves. So, we're just gonna have to work. They stank too, so we're just gonna have to work with that. Uh, but I'm gonna get that done right now. Three sets, 10 to 15 reps. Three. Something I want to talk to you guys about real quick. It's the double jump. It's the Devil May Cry Dante double jump. The Marvel versus Capcom double jump. The double jump of, it's a certain feeling of, so as you see me doing these frog squats with this, you'll get to a certain point where you'll feel like maximum jump power, right? So it's like a, well, it's not really a double jump, of course, but it's like a, it's like a ignition. It's, it's a feeling. You come up and then you feel like, boom, you know what I'm saying? You want to snap out of it. That's why I say it's a double jump because it's like you're going up and then you're pushing out of that up to be up more. So what I mean is like starting right here, boom, down. And then you, just, you feel a certain area where you'll, you'll know that your snap and the jump will be maximum. And we look for things like that, getting in tune with the body, things like that when we're running or jumping. <sighs> 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 I think it's time to go inside.
got step ups, single leg. Well, I mean, you can only step up with a single leg. Four or five sets, five reps each leg, going up in weight each time. I got a mean. Look at that. Look at this turf burn. This is bad. All right, so right now, I had a little fun with the last set. I want to see if I can do 315 step ups, you know what I'm saying? So I did like two reps each leg, but right now I have my pins set right here. We're going to do a slight quarter squat and we're going to explode up because that's kind of the area where you're using a lot of uh, quad activation, the one jumping. And uh, we got it right here. We're going to do three, we're going to do five sets of three explosive reps. Damn, stop hitting on me.
Ah. Ah. 